Walmart's lobbying disclosures for gaining access into the Indian markets led into a full-blown controversy with the Indian government ordering a judicial probe. On We Mean Business today, we're asking if lobbying is necessarily a dirty word. Is there a fine dividing line between lobbying and bribery? And is there a need to have more clarity on lobbying laws in India. Let me introduce our guest on the show today. Ajay Duwa, former Secretary in the Ministry of Industry and Commerce with us here in the Delhi studio. Also Mr. Dilip Cherian, consulting partner of Perfect Relations. Joining us on a link, Mr. Vikram Singh Mehta, former Chairman of Shell Group of Companies. Uh, uh, Vivek Dahejia, e economics professor and author of uh, Indianomics joins us uh, from Mumbai. And Mr. A. Mahendran, MD of uh, Godrej. Consumer Products Limited also joins us from Mumbai. But before we start this discussion, let's take a look at what World Bank uh, Chief Economist Dr. Kaushik Basu had to say on lobbying and the recent Walmart controversy. Lobbying is a global worry. Big corporations have a lot of money, they spend a lot of time on lobbying. India is becoming a global player, so we are entering a domain in which all the industrialized countries have already been. They always face lobbies from big corporations. India is now beginning to face. And here again, Shweta, I want to stress this. The personal integrity of people at the top is extremely important. People will come and lobby. They will come and say that, look, this is in our interest. You have to give them a hearing. But if you have integrity at the top, you give them a hearing, you take in their point, and then take an independent decision for the country. So if you can get the corruption part, the personal integrity part worked out at the top, Lobbying will be there. That's a part of the industry's uh, part of their exercise, just that it will not influence our policies unduly. So what you're really saying is lobbying is a trend that, that we have. We, it was here to stay. It will continue. It, but it all depends on how influenced we get uh, by that lobbying. And it's not always necessary that just because lobbying happened, a decision actually took place. You know, I would love a world without lobbying. But if someone comes and makes a case, how do you stop that? And uh, big corporations will spend money on just advertising their point of view. So it's a part of the world that I wish uh, was not there, but it is there. So all I'm saying is that we have to learn to live with that. And we have to ha have integrity at the top. Right. That you give them a hearing, but you take your decisions in the interest of the country. Whichever country you happen to be at the helm of, you take, the interest, um, uh, take decisions in the interest of that country. But because this is a part of life. And in this case, particularly, you feel FDI and multi-brand retail was in the interest of the country. So the decision that was really taken by policymakers was in the that's, interest of the that's country. That's exactly my viewpoint, that uh, Walmart may have asked for it, Carrefour may have asked for it, Tesco may have asked for it. Right. In the end, India took a decision in India's own interest. In this case, I do believe that it is in India's interest to let in these um, uh, corporations. Again, a word of caution. You want your antitrust laws to be in place. Right. Your zoning laws to be in place because you have to keep in mind that these are not um, international NGOs coming in. It's not uh, Mother Teresa's group coming into India. Right. These are corporations coming in in their own interest. They want to earn a profit in India. Right. So we have to have our laws in place, our zoning laws, our uh, competition laws to keep them in check. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.